Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in, this is Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 256. When all is said and done, more is said than done. Welcome to the main event. It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. When all is said and done, more is said than done. Maybe you've heard that expression before. Maybe it's new to you. We're all guilty of of this, I suppose, of saying more and not doing everything that we're saying that we're going to do. But try your best not to be that spoofer. Never mind to others, but most certainly try not to be that kind of a spoofer to yourself. Try not to do it to yourself. Try not to over talk and under deliver, over sell and under deliver. You know, it's fine if your goals change. It's fine if you say you're going to do something and then you decide that it's not actually for you after all and your goals change. That's fine. Absolutely. That makes sense. That's great because you've just saved yourself a lot of strife, a lot of hassle, a lot of energy, a lot of money, a lot of time. You know, if you change your mind, if you grow out of something, that's fine as well. We all have pursuits when we're younger that we ultimately grow out of. And maybe we we reflect back and think it was just the immature version of ourselves. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But that's a normal part of, of human progression. Maybe after you do your homework on something, you've done your due diligence you know, it doesn't add up. It doesn't check out. Maybe the numbers just don't work. And maybe that's why you don't go ahead and to do it. That That's fine. We're absolutely talking about, you know, under under delivering after you've just oversold. So, so giving it loads, talking about things, talking things up with absolutely no intention of pursuing it. Um, just, just wild dreams and wild notions that you've absolutely no... Uh, intention of of you know taking making the sacrifices that would need to be made in order to to pursue them so the, the things that remain undone in our lives are potential future regrets maybe they're even potential big regrets work on your goals now to reduce your regret in the future that can be a major driving force into why you do certain things that you do, why you pursue certain things that you do. Even if it's just to reduce the pain of regret in the future, that's that's a good enough driving force for me. Uh, Reflection never seems to take into account the reservations that you might have had or the fears that you might have had. So when you're looking back and you're thinking about, you know, things that you did or why you didn't do certain things, you never seem to really appreciate the reservations that you had at the time or the fears that you had that held you back so do you know what if if in the future your future self is looking back and reflecting and you're not taking those into account then don't take them into account now just just know that just try to dismiss once you've done your homework try to dismiss your fears and your reservations and carry on regardless because your future self won't even realize them when you're looking back as to why you did certain things or how you managed to do certain things so imagine instead of saying in the future, I should have done, you know, X, Y and Z. Imagine that you're actually able to say, I don't know how I did X, Y and Z. I don't know how I managed to achieve X, Y and Z. Would not that be amazing that you look at your own life in disbelief as opposed to looking at your life with regret some regret is unavoidable, but you know, a lot of it is avoidable by pursuing the very things that we wish to pursue. Don't waste time dreaming or fantasizing about things that you don't actually want or that you're not actually willing to sacrifice for. Plan what you truly do want and single mindedly go after that. People respect those who are true to the word and not those who aren't. Um, if we were, uh, you know, true to our word, if we were, if we were stripped of absolutely everything, 
You know, our word will be one of those few things that other people would really respect. And everybody wants a reliable friend. True vision is motivating to other people. It's encouraging to other people. It's energizing to others. And they may want to come on board to become involved with your vision. Um, you know, hot air, bullshit, meaningless dreams do turn others away from you. And if you've said a lot of things that never came to fruition, you know, you could be labeled as, you know, the type of person that does say a lot and actually doesn't carry through on a lot, which is very damaging when you do need people. Um, build it and they will come. You've heard that expression before, build it and they will come. But even, even before that, start building it and they will come. People become energized um, and they become motivated and encouraged and they do want to come on board. Talk about building it without any intention of building it and they will roll their eyes behind your back and ultimately hold it against you. There was a recent study, I didn't bother doing my research on it, um, but there was a recent study that showed that those who tell their goals to others are actually less likely to achieve them. So this is despite people thinking that by telling other people your, your goals, it holds you accountable to others and you will be more inclined to achieve your goals. It's actually the opposite. Now, whether that's true or not, you know, only talking about the things that you are making happen greatly improves your credibility. And we all need others in order to succeed you know, as, as the expression is, no person is an island and we all need others to succeed. And, and you know, vice versa, they, people should be succeeding, you know, as a result of your actions as well. But people back those who are credible and trustworthy. Too many people waste time attempting get rich quick schemes instead of just knuckling down for the long term pursuit of success. Reduce your regrets. Be targeted and focused. The only person you really need to impress is yourself. Actions speak louder than words. Thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.